This is GPB, and I'm Sarah Zaslaw. Spivey Hall is an intimate concert hall on the campus of Clayton State University in Morrow, Georgia. It's known for its fabulous acoustics, and more of the world's top musicians perform there than you might expect of a 400-seat hall always outside Atlanta. On GPB, we often hear highlights of Spivey Hall recitals on APM's performance today. And today I'm excited to be joined by the executive and artistic director of Spivey Hall, Sam Dixon. Sam, welcome to GPB. Thank you very much, Sarah. Glad to be here. To me, it sounds like an awesome responsibility to have to keep an eye on the entire classical world and then invite the cream of the crop to Georgia. What's your own musical background that gives you the guts to do that? Well, I've been a musician since a very early age. Piano lessons casually, stayed involved in music throughout school. When I moved from Italy, where my family lived for six years in Milan and where I cut my teeth at Opera La Scala, I came back to Rochester, New York, where I was born, and my, I, I got enrolled in the preparatory department of the Eastman School of Music. And I was desperately trying to please a very demanding teacher. And, and at the end of my junior year, she said, Sam, what are you going to do with your life? And I said, I'd like to do something with music, but I'm not sure what. Well, she said, you shouldn't be a pianist, and here's why. You're not working hard enough. There are others who can do it better than you. I think you'll be disappointed, and it may not be satisfactory. So what are you going to do? Wow. And this was mortifying for a couple days. But I got really good advice at the right time. I continued to study music by going to Dartmouth College and had an undergraduate degree both in music with honors but also economics and went to business school. So right out of business school, um, I graduated on a Friday and I started work on Monday with the Minnesota Orchestra in Minneapolis. So I've been working with professional music and musicians from the very beginning of my, of my career. Where does Spivey Hall draw its audience from? It sounds like people come quite a distance to hear these major performers in this special place. Absolutely. They come from around the state. The the principal audience is from Metro Atlanta, further north as well. People regularly come from Tennessee, from Savannah, from Alabama, from the Carolinas. And I think that's because in the southeast, the programming that we offer at Spivey Hall is not commonly available. It's, It's quite important that we are able to enrich the cultural wealth of this region, I think. We do what we can do best. And that means bringing outstanding international musicians from many genres to create opportunities for people to experience music at its best. On performance today, after Mm -hmm. we hear concert tape from Spivey Hall, host Mm -hmm. Fred Child always credits the Walter and Emily Spivey Foundation. Mm -hmm. What is that? The Walter and Emily Spivey Foundation is the source of all good things at Spivey Hall. Spivey Hall was created by Emily Spivey. Emily Spivey was an organist. She was a president of the Atlanta Music Club for many years. She was the organist at North Avenue Presbyterian Church and at the Temple. And she had some wonderful organist friends in the world, including Virgil Fox. She and her husband, Walter, who was a dentist, were also entrepreneurs, and they developed something called Lake Spivey and Lake Jodico in Clayton County. When you go down I-75 and you see the exit sign for Jodico Road, Jodico is an acronym for Jonesboro Development Company, and that's the name of their company. So they developed this beautiful residential area around a lake called Lake Jodico, then Lake Spivey. And uh, at the end of their lives, they wanted to give back to the community where they made their fortune. Emily Spivey was going to the campus. She loved the campus. She thought it was a good thing in Clayton County that Clayton State College, as it was then known, was there. She attended a performance by a violinist and a pianist in what was the place where we used to give concerts. It was in the wintertime. The radiator was clanking. It was hotter than all get out. The piano was going out of the tune. The violinist was perspiring. And that's when the light bulb went off. She said, maybe we need a better place for music on the south side. And with uh, Dr. Harry Downs, who was the founding president of Clayton State, she devised a plan whereby she would raise the money privately to build Spivey Hall, and then it would be given to the University System of Georgia at Clayton State. So Clayton State owns Spivey Hall, but the Spivey Foundation not only built it, it provides its annual operating support out of its endowment, which is critical to us. And the endowment assures me that no matter how deeply into the future I book, there will be support for the greatest artists in the world. What an amazing situation. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm tremendously privileged. Sam Dixon, could you give us a visual? Could you describe the setting and architecture of Spivey Hall? Spivey Hall is on a beautiful campus at Clayton State University, which is just 15 miles southeast of Atlanta. When you come to Spivey Hall, it looks like a very tall brick building in the style of the university. But the minute you step inside, you notice something entirely different. There's beautiful wrought iron staircase decorations. There's marble. There's a chandelier in the middle of the lobby. And you enter the auditorium itself after going down 
down this long set of stairs where Emily Spivey wanted everybody to be seen as they came into Spivey Hall. And you go through the doors, and inside is a vast organ. It's the Fratelli Rufati pipe organ that Emily Spivey also gave. That's the crown jewel of Spivey Hall. But I think what people notice also is the color scheme. There is this beautiful cream and gold and teal and coral color decor working, which is so unusual for concert halls. Emily Spavi wanted to look Venetian, sort of antique Venetian. So you go in and you, you're sort of like in this, in this temple of music. It, it's elegant, but it's not busy. And every seat in the house enables you to see very well what's going on on stage. And because the acoustics are so good, people can connect. People have become very deeply engrossed in the musical experience. And that is what I'm all about. I'm always trying to create those connections. So what's new in 2014, 2015 at Spivey Hall? I always like to open the season, if I can, with a new artist. And our season opens on September 28th with a marvelous Italian pianist who's very young. Her name is Beatrice Rana. I heard her at the 2013 Van Clyburn competition. She won the Silver Award, but also the Audience Award. And before the competition was even over, I had offered her engagement because I was so taken by the beauty and the naturalness of her playing and her maturity as a young woman. She was 20 at the time she won this prize. She's going to play Bach and the second Chopin Sonata, which I'm sure she'll do beautifully because her Chopin preludes were absolutely stunning at the competition. And even though she's young and she's not terribly tall, she's a powerful player, and she's going to play Prokofiev's sixth sonata, one of the war sonatas for us. So that, I think, will be a great way to get the season going.